Hello everyone, my name is Jeff Olson. I'm a National Marketing Director with my wife Tony Olson and we've been involved with the Juice Plus company for over 15 years. My story was I got Juice Plus sort of straight away. I saw it as a Think Different product kind of around the time that Apple had launched their Think Different campaign and it just made sense to me. I understood it was not a multivitamin. It was plant powders and I kind of understood at kind of a guttural visceral level that it was different. But I did not understand the business. I was a two-time Olympian and chased snow around the world as an alpine ski racer. I retired, got my degree in finance. As I say, I got a BS in finance, having MBS, but in any event, I, I went on to work on Wall Street, worked in the dot-coms, and uh, made a lot of money, lost a lot of money, built a lot of character. And I guess for, for those of you kind of tuning in and hear my story, I think maybe the context that I'd like to share with you is one around discovery, one around curiosity. Um, I did not know what I didn't know. I had illusions of knowledge uh, that prevented me from seeing the bigger picture of this company, what it had to offer independent free agents, 1099 agents. So my business story started out was uh, kind of wrapped in resistance. And if you know people, have people, um, are that person who has some resistance around this business, I would encourage you to poke the bear in those area of resistance and find resolve, find resolution. Um, I won't encourage you to uh, spend four or five years in all the mental gymnastics that I went through, but here's the, here's the kind of one thing I did well, is I attended events and I listened because I was uh, my wife's date. Tony um, got the business, my wife, Tony got the business straight away, um, or maybe not straight away, she, she came to it uh, much faster than I. Uh, once she understood what Juice Plus was and how it was different, and she saw that it worked for her family, uh, she wanted to share it with people. So she came to me and said, I want to do this business, and probably patronizingly in the back of my mind, I said, you go, girl. I'm supportive. I was a supportive spouse. I was a supportive partner. And uh, that was the first thing I did right. The second thing I did right is I attended events. I went with her to all of these gatherings and I heard the people and I listened to the people and I kind of sat in the back with my arms crossed and I learned and I listened and I asked the questions and you know if this is so great why isn't it sold through stores or you know uh, you know so many questions I had to have answered um, you know I learned that you know it's one thing to get a customer in business it's another thing to have retention in business and retention is why they pay us you know we've had customers for 10 15 years and so a lot of questions I had to get answered, but net net, uh, ultimately um, she started the business. And I was supportive. I attended events. I was listening. I was learning. I just couldn't see as a man, and as a provider for my family at the time. After I had uh, retired from professional ski racing, um, after the Olympic Games, I had some injuries, but I, I went to work on Wall Street, suit and tie, made a lot of money, good expense account, um, but I was very unfulfilled. Good money, success side, but not the fulfillment side. Then the dot-coms came along and I did the startup thing. I was an owner and we thought, you know, we were going to change the world. Um, but we lost a lot of money and, as you know, I said, built a lot of character. But during that time, we had been introduced to Juice Plus and Tony took it on as a side business uh, just for fun, ultimately. She really didn't have any expectations. But in the end, she fast-tracked and what she did do right was uh, um, just one person at a time share the gift of health. She ended up paying the mortgage. Uh, that got my attention. Uh, if you want someone's attention, you know, get a comma in your paycheck or start paying some bills, and you're gonna get you're gonna get their attention. And ultimately, what I did was, um, I guess, pay attention. I paid attention, and she started paying more bills uh, beyond the mortgage. And I was kind of that velveteen rabbit. What if? What if? What if this is real? What if this is? But I just couldn't at the time mentally see how I could provide for my family with a six-figure income on these little itty-bitty fruit and vegetable powders. But ultimately, that curiosity, that, that kind of what if in the back of my brain, I, I kept showing up to the big show, national conferences, boot camps, uh, and I began to find my voice. I did not have a big Juice Plus story when I got on Juice Plus. The earth did not move for me. I was not able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. You know, I, I it, it took me about a year after to begin to notice kind of that compounding effect 
of these little itty bitty plant powders. I was recovering faster. I was playing soccer with, you know, 20 years younger, my junior. I was recovering. I was, you know, off the couch doing stuff and I was, you know, better hair, better complexion, more less canker sores or no canker sores. I just started to see some subtle, subtle things. But ultimately, a year and a half into it, you know, my adaptive response, what I call recovery, I speak a lot to athletes about this, that that recovery response I noticed um, over time. Food does things to the body over time. So then I kind of found my story. And you can't feel prevention was another piece of my story. And I was like, oh, you know, subclinical stuff, it's working. I know it's working. That intellectual sort of leap of faith on these plant powders makes sense. But then I wasn't really feeling it. But I understood things were going on inside of me. And so once I kind of understood how to share that with people, then I could feel like I could go out and, and, and start to talk about this as a, a gifting sort of conversation. But in the end, um, my business story came to this place where, okay, I was ready to do this business. Let's light this candle. And I came in. I wanted to reinvent the wheel. And I will just sort of bore you with the gory details, but suffice it to say, I had a lot of resistance around this tried and proven system. This, what I call it, was a box. I thought it was going to constrain me, confine me. And what I learned was when someone put it into my language, it was aerodynamic. Uh, that sort of liberated me. Uh, it was free. It was clean. Or it was clean. It was, it was, uh, had been built upon success in the field, best practices, and it had been um, refined to this place for high payoff activities and focus. Where there was a system, but it was a system re or, um, um, created around being effective. That resistance, once I sort of understood that, I had sort of, and this is kind of this, the aorta, that might be a visual, the aorta that I had to cut uh, was a surrender. It was a surrender to this tried and proven system. Now, most of our business is done by women. Uh, so us as guys, we have a little bit different uh, way to roll in this business. I love working in the business with a ton of women. It's a great recruiting environment. It's fun to be around, you know, beautiful, fun, excited, engaged people, women that are up to something. But, you know, maybe less than 20% of this business is around men. Usually we start out as supportive spouses. But if you're a supportive spouse, if you're a single guy, if you're a man in this business, um, you know, maybe we don't do shred 10 or we don't think of shred 10 the same way women do. Uh, but I will tell you that what we what we do think about uh, is physiological durability. We, we come at it, you know, and that's kind of the way my words I use, physiological durability. But in terms of the business, here's what I've learned. Um, this business is a real company in the real world, making a real difference one person at a time. It We are up to something in the space of business. We crossed $650 million in sales in 2016. We're on track to be a billion-dollar uh, company by the year 2020. I want a piece of that market share. My business mind, my you know Bachelor of Science business, I needed to know the company behind Juice Plus, the Juice Plus company and who they were. And the only way you're going to do understand that is if you come to the events and meet corporate and understand who and what they are, have beers with them, you know, ask the questions. And I will tell you that the last 20 years has me more excited for the next 20 years. We are poised. We are positioned. Um, we are in place to take advantage of these categories, produce concentrates plant powders, um, vertical aeroponics. Um, you know, our market is those that don't consume enough produce. Pretty big market, right, across the whole spectrum. But the business, you know, it's simple. We work with 1099 independent contractors, and we grow income um, either through re retailing ourselves or building an agency, as I call it, a health food agency. You can be a health food agent and retail, or you can own a health food agency with other like-minded health food agents. And that's just my verbiage. You know, Dan Holtzman uh, is the sort of Jay Martin of Europe, and he kind of coined the, the term network franchise. And I think that's a great word to use with people because we're not really a network marketing company. We're not really a franchising company. We're not really a direct sales company, and we're not really a corporate, you know, traditional structure. But we've pulled from those various business models. And so we've taken what's best and thrown out the rest. So what's good about network marketing? Well, revenue sharing, but that's not a new concept. That's you know business partnerships, just win-win partnerships. Let's get shoulder to shoulder and do good work. Direct sales, belly to belly, relational. You know the oldest form of enterprise that there is. You know sharing what you do and you're mobile and you can just carry what you do wherever you go. Um, corporate. You know I, I don't know of another network marketing company that has health food ben or health care benefits. Um, I'm scheduled to go into surgery next Monday for a, a bone spur I have on my kneecap, and we've enjoyed Juice Plus healthcare benefits for over a decade, and I, I, we're the only maybe direct sales company, if you want to think of us as direct sales, that offers that. Um, in terms of franchising, tried and proven system, lather, rinse, repeat, systems, systems, 
systems and following that. And so I, we started out as health food agents, 1099 contractors retailing, and we grew into owning a health food agency with other like-minded health food agents. Um, I can train a new distributor in about five minutes using that language. You're, you're starting out as a health food agent. Your goal, if you want to, is to be own an agency of other like-minded people, like a sports agency, like a real estate agency, and so forth. And so, um, you know, if you're just new to this company, if you're just new to this business, you got to come to the show. You got to do a due diligence trip. Get to a big yes. Get to a big no, and then you know, carry on. Whether that's no, I'm moving away, or yes, I'm going to lean in. Um, what this company has done for our family, and I'll just kind of close with this, is provided a, a lifestyle um, and a way for mom and dad to live and show up for our children uh, where we're fully alive. I think one of the greatest gifts we can give our kids is the gift of health, and then also to show them mommy and daddy fully alive. So my, mo my, my mom and dad introduced us to Juice Plus. Um, we now are gifting this lifestyle and this gift of health to our, our children. Um, I think in the end, um, if you want to make a difference in people's lives, we have tools, we have goods, we have services, we have community, we have mastery, we have purpose, we have play, we have discovery, you know, that sweet spot. Uh, if you can find something you love, if you can get good at it, if the world needs it and you can get paid well for it, that's kind of that, that sweet spot, that crosswords where that vortex, when everything kind of comes together. The fulfillment that we've had in this business has been, you know, it's the people. Um, the income has been great. Uh, I can assure you that uh, um, we cash the checks every month. And, and having, you know, six-figure income working very, very part-time is, is a gift. It's a blessing. And our job now is to gift this lifestyle, gift this gift, <laughs> gift this gift forward. And so I would encourage you to learn more. I would encourage you to be curious. I would encourage you to poke the bear. But in the end, it's up to you to kind of take action. We have a tremendous amount of resources, but are you resourceful? And I'm excited, as I said, more than ever about the next 20 years, uh, because if you think that produce concentrates are going to go out of style anytime soon, that means you kind of think that fruits and vegetables are going to go out of style anytime soon. The company is positioned and in a place to scale. We're not even, we haven't even touched Asia yet. We're heading into Asia. Uh, we're going to be a billion dollars in the next few years. And so there is momentum, uh, there is community, and there is a place to land and find a home. Jeff Roberti, the number one income earner in our company, I just spent a few days skiing with him in Aspen, and he's more excited now about the next 30 years. He said the last 30 years has set us up for the next 30, and he's more excited than ever. He doesn't have to work, but working with others gives him the fulfillment to, to stay in the trenches and in the game. And so I invite you to learn more. I invite you to get with the person that uh, shared this with you and get involved, lean in, and hopefully, maybe you'll come to one of our national conferences and boot camps, and I'll get to meet you in person. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the field of play.